good afternoon ladies and gentlemen thanks mr sharan so i think uh, lnt's involvement in indian nuclear program is right from the first research reactor it is close to six decades of uh, association and lnt has been a uh, trusted dependable partner with da now when we talk about industry preparedness i thought it is very pertinent to uh, look at what are the challenges and opportunities in front of us there was a phase which was uh, capability demonstration where india was isolated due to nuclear apartheid and all the capabilities have to be developed within the country obviously you can't expect uh, speed and scale in that kind of situation so if you really see till almost 2005 it was a slower pace of growth but good part is it steadily kept on growing because finally in a very important sector like nuclear what is most important is the continuity availability of nuclear culture nuclear trained talent pool so that is what is like a foundation for indian nuclear sector now if you see the next decade it is going to increase by another 8.4 gigawatt almost 12 reactors and beyond that it's like a steep climb and i think mr sharan he himself is in the midst of all strategic plans and he may be actually planning even far more uh, stronger growth than this now when we talk of such uh, large scaling up obviously the issues what i talked supply chain construction talent pool these are all extremely important because many a times today we are seeing the way in western world at one time countries like france us canada russia they actually created lot of benchmark but because of loss of continuity today there is a struggle in most of these countries so when it comes to fast tracking nuclear what is the contribution lnt can make you see today lnt has already delivered steam generator in 36 months including procurement of material which is a global benchmark uh end shields which is a reactor component this is delivered in 24 months 12 months ahead of contractual delivery both steam generator end shield delivered 12 months ahead of contractual delivery eater is another one largest outermost containment which is close to 3500 metric tons thick stainless steel at kedrash france this is also delivered two years ahead of project schedule now all of this have happened right through midst of covid 19 pandemic now where obviously you could not be at your full capacity then there were lot of restrictions of social distancing staggering of shifts sanitizing in between the shifts logistics was impacted supply chain was impacted so with such adverse conditions which were like this century's unprecedented challenge in front of humanity if we could achieve such 
global benchmark. Obviously, today, if you ask me, the preparedness is much more than what will be needed. This is another example. This is pre-pandemic era. This is Tarapur 3 and 4. This was not ordered on EPC turnkey basis the way uh, NPCIL is now ordering Kaiga new plants. However, it turned out to be almost like EPC because out of 66 total packages, 55 were won by LNT and this was another one which was completed in 60 months from the first pour of concrete, which is a record in itself. And uh, this is another uh, proud moment for LNT where end to end, except Turbine Island, almost everything LNT had supplied. This is another great success story for Make in India, 700 megawatt Indian pressurized heavy water reactor. This is, I understand currently operating more than 700 megawatt and uh, full capacity and very stable and LNT had lion's share in this right from reactor uh, vault components, most of the walls, then your uh, most of the construction. So everything was supplied by LNT and some of it was tried for the first time like the steam generator thermal hydraulic software which was uh, not made available to India was developed indigenously. Many raw materials are developed indigenously. Modular construction concepts are implemented for the first time. So it's a great success story and now I understand Kakrapar 4 is also uh, likely to be uh, full power in next few months, followed by Rajasthan 7. So I think this is becoming like a workhorse for uh, NPCL and the whole ecosystem in India, which is a good news. As I said, LNT's footprint in all the 23 nuclear reactor is there for 60 years and including even heavy water uh, plants. Most of the equipment are supplied by LNT and they are working satisfactorily for so many decades. The heavy water what India produces is the best in the world. ITER is another one which LNT has uh, contributed 700 megawatt, a new uh, improved version, reliable version of fuel transfer equipment. So many such first of its kind, LNT has always participated with DAE and successfully delivered the project to the satisfaction of DAE and NPCL. This is the range of equipment what LNT makes in the nuclear island, almost everything of nuclear island. And we have the track record in most of the plant. Another important part when I talked about uh, on-time delivery, early delivery, global benchmark what LNT is making, See, this is primarily because the nuclear work culture what LNT has established is today amongst the best in the world. We are operating at zero defect and the reactor after reactor, steam generator after steam generator, it is first time right, every time right is the work culture. This is the outermost containment cryostat what LNT manufactured in 52 parts, took it to Kadarash, France, assembled it into one piece and handed over to ITER International. In fact, 
द फर्स्ट लार्जेस्ट कॉम्पोनेंट डिलीवर्ड एट साइट वॉज बाय एल एन टी इंडिया एंड इनफैक्ट वी आर टू ईयर्स अड ऑफ शेड्यूल वी आर एक्चुअली वेटिंग फॉर अदर कंट्रीज टू कम्प्लीट देयर वर्क देन ओनली द लास्ट हेड क्लोजर एल एन टी विल बी एबल टू कम्प्लीट वी हैव डी मोबलाइज फ्रॉम देयर दे इज अ बर्ड्स आई व्यू ऑफ एम नाइक हेवी इंजीनियरिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स एट हजीरा एंड दिस इज the single largest facility at a single location last more than 5 years 100% on time delivery we have extensively implemented industry 4.0 in eto environment and uh, today i would say that uh, there is such a large capacity this plant is like a mini city it is spread over 750 acres and ample capacity is available right from raw material manufacturing like forgings pipes to the reactor components the ship directly comes to the plant and it goes to all parts of the world this is the backward integration what i talk in fact partnering with npcl lnt invested a massive 1700 crore so 100% of this technology is developed indigenously within india it is not sourced from any country and uh, is one of the best uh, rejection rate it is less than 2% in nuclear forging which is actually unheard of so this is what so all the 700 megawatt forgings are now manufactured at hajira a lot of forgings for brc and their special program are again manufactured there and obviously other than that we make lot of other hydrocarbon defense this sector forgings also are made there it is one of the fully integrated with electric arc furnace so it's end to end you don't have to depend on any outside agency for manufacturing this this is the one stop solution what i talked at lnt we offer entire range of nuclear construction all nuclear island uh, equipment n triple s piping with induction bending entire range of walls and forgings so this is the track record what lnt has in the nuclear lnt is not in service business reactor service however whenever npcl had some challenges and something which was very complex lnt has always helped npcl with the uh, modification revamp upgrade services and this is one example where the calendria vault there was a leak and this was attempted for many years by npcl finally when lnt was requested this was completed in 2 years and this appreciation letter is from then director operations mr nageshwar rao and this was one of the most complex job done by lnt with seven axis snake kind of manipulator developed in house to do a blind repair LNT is exporting to US and Europe the spent fuel storage transportation cask since 2008 now it's almost 160 numbers track record these are uh, safety class 1 components and most of the utilities in US they have used LNT products this is the track record this is one of the customer from uta energy solution they were very much appreciative of what work workmanship lnt has uh, supplied to them
LNT also had a, a fortune of US NRC uh, chairman with their full team visiting one of our facility, Dr. Dale Klein, with his team and US NRC director. This is what he had to say after seeing uh, LNT capabilities, and this was a visit without any advance notice. It was just a short notice. They wanted to see LNT as a representative of Indian industry. We were also fortunate, one of the most important uh, research laboratory in nuclear field in US, Idaho National Laboratory, their director, Dr. Grossenbacher, he had visited LNT, seen all the facilities, and uh, in fact, he was also quite impressed with what he saw. And these visits were in 2008, 2011, and from then, today, if you see, LNT is far beyond what it was at that time. And in fact, I was very happy and fortunate to receive this block of graphite from the first nuclear reactor in the world. He gave as a moment to LNT to salute LNT's nuclear capabilities in this field. This is our Vadodara Heavy Engineering, which is about 200 kilometer north of Surat Hajira, where we do all exotic materials. The complete facility is dedicated only for titanium, zirconium, tantalum, nickel alloys, copper alloys, cobalt base alloys, all grades of stainless steel. And we do all proprietary uh, internals, special uh, equipment, and uh, this, what you see, the grid baffles, these are, earlier we had to import the raw materials from Europe. This is completely now developed indigenously. LNT has been leading the Make in India success story, and not only LNT, a lot of supply chain partners within India. LNT took lead to develop them in India. The grid baffles completely developed in house. Incola 800 tubes with Midani, Sandwick, and NFC. This was developed in India. Otherwise, earlier we had to import them from Europe. Mist extractor developed with one of our uh, supply chain partner, Evergreen. The nine chrome one molly tubes, again, Midani, Sandwick, and NFC. The special heat treatment of fast feeder reactor steam generator. Earlier, the solution was only with Cooper Heat UK. Finally, because there were difficulties in engaging them, LNT developed it in India, and it was successfully demonstrated for all the 10 steam generators. The shroud material, which we used to import from Europe, today it is done by our seller, Mittal Nippon Steel, in Hajira. So 100% it is indigenized now. The special fasteners for steam generator, again, developed within the country. <clears throat> I talked about this two-phase thermal hydraulic software. This was another thing which had to be developed completely from the first principle in house. LNT developed that. These are the various supply chain partners which are developed by LNT in India. And complete handholding was done by LNT. And they are today available for Indian nuclear program. LNT has been also doing a lot of innovation for logistics within India because obviously today infrastructure is far better. But if you go back 70 years back, it was not so good. 
So transporting over dimension component was one of the major challenge, time consuming activity. So how to do it fast? So LNT has been using its design, engineering, manufacturing know-how for that also. This video is not working, is it? Ah, okay. See, you see this particular, uh, whenever there is a constraint of width, we turn it, the end shield to vertical, transport it. When you have constraint of height, make it horizontal and transport it. So all kinds of innovation have been done to fast track the nuclear program. And this was completely designed uh, within LNT. Pressurizer is another critical component which used to be imported from uh, Europe. Now, after LNT established, all pressurizers are being done in India only. Design and engineering capability, full range LNT has developed in house and including virtual simulation where you can uh, preempt the challenges, what you can face, interferences, everything is done in advance. You name the certification and LNT has all those international certifications and uh, anything new which is required also LNT has the capability to get themselves qualified within five, six months. We are the only Indian company today with ASME and stamp and ISO 19443, which is very important for nuclear export. So basically how we are able to achieve it, I thought it is important. It's one is okay, the track record. I talked about this first time right culture, compliance to systems and procedure, a very strong nuclear culture, transparency and trust. In fact, LNT is any plant, any of the customer can visit 24 by 7 even no advance intimation is required. The transparency and trust is of the highest order and that is one reason. Across the globe, customers have that trust. In fact, overall company level, 38% of our $23 billion come from international customer. But at heavy engineering and walls, it is 70% is the international business. That's the kind of trust which is there. And obviously that is leading to customer satisfaction. This is the six decades of nuclear construction experience of LNT. I'll not get into that. I'll sum up that every nuclear reactor LNT's footprint you will find in it. And LNT has played a very leading role in supporting and strengthening DAE, NPCL, and it's all the wings. Nuclear construction is another very large contribution what we are making. And these are the footprints. In next few slides, I would also show the fast tracking attempts and the initiatives taken by NPCL where LNT has supported them fully in terms of the containment dome liner, modular erection, the reactor building uh, wall liners. So you see the kind of time reduction which is possible from 45 days to 15 days. And today the whole world is actually looking at nuclear as a solution to the climate change. And for base power, there are obviously renewable energies are there, but today with the battery storage, they are not economically uh, uh, viable in terms of only by themselves providing 
24 by 7 power. So that is where the nuclear plays a very critical role. So fast tracking and also reducing the cost, both are equally important for nuclear because worldwide, last decade, the experience has not been good. There are cost overruns, there are time overruns. So I think a supply chain partner like NP, uh, LNT can really help the NPCL in India and the other nuclear technology players outside of India to really make it uh, competitive vis-a-vis -vis other technologies. This is another example of Kudan Kulan, which is not to NPCL technology, this is to Russian technology where the modularization, how it has helped us. This is a, another example of Trestal precasting. In fact, LNT is very strong in all modular construction, modular fabrication, precast. In fact, you must have seen LNT is also now in 3D printing buildings. In fact, LNT has built 12-story building in 56 days. Okay, and that's the kind of technology which is there. So basically what is differentiating LNT from other uh, supply chain players? A strong nuclear culture, talent pool, I said in the opening remark itself, without this, everybody can build the factories, buy machines, have softwares, but finally what differentiates is your talent pool. First time right approach, in fact, 60% of what work we do is early delivery. We actually left behind on time to now what we focus is the early delivery index. Okay. State of art facility and constant focus on innovation and technology. Framatome has already qualified us for their pressurizer uh, forging M140. EDF has put us on their approved supply list. Westinghouse has included us in the approved supplier list. Now, one is the track record, second is the capability, third is the quality, fourth safety. Now, what scale? To what scale LNT can support? This is what I am giving a sort of feel. We can do per year 100 plus small modular reactors in a modular way complete, 12 steam generators per year, eight pressurizers, eight blow, bleed condensers, in forge shop 40,000 metric tons of forging, the piping, 600,000 inch dia piping. And construction is at field, so we can scale it as required. And in fact, at one location, Hajira, the facility is spread over 750 acres. It is like a mini city. That's the kind of capacity which exists. These are our nuclear clientele in India, abroad. I'll stop here, but I think what is important for all of us that government of India is giving strong support and the vision of our honorable prime minister can become reality if and only if NPCL, regulator, atomic energy regulatory board and industry we all own up our individual responsibility and jointly work towards a common goal. If we don't do that, I would say otherwise it will only remain as a shared dream. 
Thank you and thanks for the opportunity.